Now, in this piece of art, I call this... What? I don't even know what you would even call that. But uh, I'm gonna call it Missing the Elevator because that's what I'm about to do. Oh, good morning! Good morning! Oh, I took your face. Uh, did you like your hotel stay? Yeah. Comfortable bed? Very. Boom! Home time. This is breakfast in style, in it? Because, mm -hmm. wow, look at this. This is fancy. Exactly what we needed, right? Exactly what we needed. This place came in clutch. Next stop, Manchester. Uh, actually, technically, Stockport. So, next stop, Stockport. And she made it, yeah. Yeah, you got lost. Off the train. And now on to what is gonna be the next series of events, because I've got a lot to catch you guys up with. Yeah, it's not exactly the best of news, but one step at a time and I'll get to explain it to you. Until then, you just have to stare at that guy staring at you. Sorry about that. People just don't understand vlogging and they freak out when they see me talking to my phone. They're like, I just don't understand. But anyway, off we go. Okay, now I'm at the hospital, not the best of circumstances. Long story short, last I was in Prague, I was shitting myself with food poisoning and couldn't get off the toilet. But it turns out my granddad hasn't told me or told anyone for the past couple of weeks is he's not been able to poop for about three weeks, he said. Got that bad that his bowels have swollen to the point where he had to tell his neighbour, rather than his family or anything, that he was too embarrassed to tell us that um, he hadn't been able to poo so long. <laughs> that it's swollen and he couldn't poo. His neighbor took him to hospital and there at hospital, uh, he went in for scans and all that sort of stuff and they noticed that his bowel had swollen up and everything. And basically, long story short, they operated on him. This is whilst I was away in Prague and they put a bag on him. So that's where it's like, if he uses the toilet for poo, it goes into a bag rather than actually going to the toilet. Now, I got told about this but I was told, don't worry about it, stay in Prague, you don't need to come back, everything's fine, it's not serious, it's just, you know, like, you might have to have an operation and all this reversed. sort of stuff, and it could be reversed, like, it's not a big deal. It turns out, now that I'm back, I get it, and I'm not, like, angry or anything like that, it is more of a big deal than I was being told, and that was just so, yeah, now it's become more of an issue, and the thing is, what could cause this could either be some sort of ju just, it could just be swollen, it could be something else, but then there's the obvious word that no one ever wants to hear, is it could be because of cancer. And we thought that they ruled it out, and I was told whilst I was away that it wasn't cancer. Now, unfortunately, after he had his operation to put the bag on, it turns out that it, they haven't ruled out cancer. I'm positive as anything, you know, so I'm like, ah, of course it's not. And um, I, I didn't know any about, about any of this until today, since I've got back from the from the trip. So we're going to see my granddad. Apparently he's a bit doolally, not just because he's normally doolally, but because uh, after his operation and everything like that. So yeah, send some love to my granddad. He's not doing too well. He's recovering. In another two weeks, they might have to operate on him, go in there again and look what exactly is going on because Hopefully right now, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully reverse it'll be fine. But right now we just don't know. So poor granddad. Gordon, the legend, he's not well. But we're, we're, we're gonna turn up and he's gonna think I've brought him a present. It's it's a Syndicate Original gift cards because I'm gonna be here for like two hours. It's the Syndicate Original uh, Christmas cards that we write. I was just like, sign them while I should go. I was like, yeah, okay, because I'll be there quite a while. I might as well get them done. He's gonna think I've brought him a million postcards. So in fact, if you guys want to send him, like, send him like a letter, like a get well soon like that. Uh, PO box boxes down below. Send him one. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, everyone send them to Lydia. If you guys want to send him a little get well soon card, then I'd really appreciate it. I'm sure he would love it. Like if we overwhelm him with cards, he'll probably be like, I can't be arse reading them. But he'll, he'll know that everyone's loving him. So yeah, next time if we come back and instead of carrying these, we're carrying letters for him, he'll love it. But you're going to see me here a lot now because I'm yeah, whilst Lydia's at work and everything like that, I'm going to be coming in during the day to see him. <laughs> okay. I'm probably not going to vlog him, so... I like how I'm making you do it. <laughs> you don't think anyone will send you a card? No. No? I think they will. I think they will. I think you're much there's more a lot, loved Granddad, than you think. There's a lot of people out there who love you, mate. A lot. And unfortunately, I'm one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I just said to Lydia, if I would have walked out of the hospital with him not smiling or laughing once, I would be absolutely, like, so upset and know something's, like, like really wrong. But I had him giggling the entire time. He's even laughing about how much he was moaning. <laughs> yeah, oh, honestly, like, just everything. I love my granddad. I just got such a good relationship shit with like how we talk to each other and he knows in confidence he can like you know like how old people can just like slag things off and moan about things 
he's just got a really good way of doing it with me as well, and he knows that. You'll half, call him out on it. Half the time I don't give a shit, but you know he's like, I know you don't bloody care, blah. And I'm like, go on. I'm like, no, they didn't, did they? Like just pure sarcasm, and he just knows it. And it was just so good to just have a laugh with him. Like I, I, w I went in there really, really upset, like worrying that um, he wasn't going to be doing well. He may not be doing like the best, but like from a genuinely like mental perspective, he's really good. Like there's a lot to explain how he's going through the procedure of like where they tra cha changed him from beds. He's like they assaulted me and all this um, because like when he was like getting you know drugged up for the surgery and they take him from one bed to another, he thinks like them doing that like they beat him up and put him in a different bed. And you know it's like granddad, no, they were just transferring you. Bed. He was like, but they did it too hard and they've cut me open. I'm like, granddad, it's a surgery. So, you know, it's like, and he was going around in circles a lot of the time. Yeah, a bit, he's a bit confused, but mentally, the legend that is Gordon with his earlobes, <laughs> he's still there. So, yeah, it was absolutely lovely. But it's kicking, we got kicked out. Uh, it's eight o'clock. And now we're going seeing Break It Ralph! We're going to see Break It Ralph! So I'll be back with a review and I believe Dan TDM's in it and I as Cupquake, so I'm going to be looking out for them uh, either as an Easter egg or as a roll, I'm not 100% sure, but we'll be back with a review of a Wreck It Ralphie. That was awesome! Wasn't it? It was a really, really good film. As someone who's grown up without the internet and then having the internet, like kids nowadays have just got it the entire way. Like, it was amazing. So many references, so funny. All the YouTubers in it, Dan TDM was in it, it was amazing. Cupcake was in it, was amazing. Like, honest to God, really, really enjoyed that. I don't even think I could give it a rating out of 10. Like, I'd just say you have to go and see it. Like, I, it's really good. Pretty sure the last clip was me in a cinema watching uh, Wreck-It Ralph, but it's now a new day, so I need to outro this video. I am not actually done an outro yet on a vlog since I've been back, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying the vlogs being back over Christmas. Told you I was bringing it back. I did just have a really, really nice chill time whilst I was doing all my streaming and my gaming, because I was gaming for like 12 to 20 hours a day sometimes, and it was just like craziness because then it was like, oh well, if I've played for t video games all day, I've got nothing to put in the vlog. So that made sense, sorry, we're just having dinner right now, but. Um, She's dropped a con in the sauce. But yeah, I'm back now and I've, I've got my gamingness out of me. Still gonna be streaming, still playing the games, still enjoying it. But I think I've found my passion with going back to recording videos and posting them, like the Adrift series. And for people wondering if you're watching this and you've been watching the Adrift series, the reason why there's been no Adrift uh, episode, obviously people saw my comments about personal problems. Uh, the personal problems weren't even to do with me and my granddad. It was that Hex had a family emergency um, and we couldn't pre-record for the days whilst he was gonna be in Vegas. Unfortunately, um, he's off in Vegas right now and I don't think he's back till tomorrow. So we may be able to start recording tomorrow or the day after, but when he's back, we'll make sure we record and we make sure if we go on a trip or something like that in the future, we will definitely have them pre-recorded. So yeah, I'm sorry about that bit of chaos. I went to Prague, uh, then to London uh, and he went to, he had the family emergency and then he went to Vegas. So it was a bit of bad timing, but yeah, I'm gonna go. I love you, bye now. Hope you guys have a great day. See you tomorrow for another vlog. Sounds good to me. It's gonna be uh, an interesting one. That's all I'm gonna say. Much love, leave a like ring, subscribe, that's how it is.